Son, here we are in the loft. So I was going to go for a walk actually, to try and uh, clear my head a little bit. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to. Still coming down with this bug. So I'm just going to sit in the loft and do military videos all afternoon. Right. So, what have we got here? We have got a pair of World War II German Dienst glass binoculars. These are the 6x30 infantry binocular. And they're, they're one of the most affordable German optic of World War II. I, I really like them and uh, I've had more pairs. You sort of uh, Luftwaffe flak binoculars and navy binoculars. They're in a collecting world of their own. So 6 is the magnification and 30 is the diameter of the objective lens, which is the big one at the end. So there you go. Dienstglas means service glass, and they can be made of aluminium, zinc, or even Bakelite. And I think I have seen the Bakelite ones, I think, on the likes of eBay. So these two here, uh, first one is the first one there. You see the maker's mark code DZ, DZL, and that is for Optisch. I'll try German. I'm learning German on day 165. Optisch Ansalt OG Berlin. The light blue circle next to it is a code for a stamp for um, a grease that, uh, that was put on there to stop them so they could be used in um, zero conditions. So the, the blue circle or hellblue Kreiser Flasche is vacuum grease or vacuum fet. And that is means the binoculars will work down to minus 40 degrees centigrade and that was probably done around 1942. If you can hear a rattling noise, that is one of my little cats who loves beer bottle tops. Not that I'm having a beer now, but I've just got them in my pocket all the time. It's only certain make as well, she loves chasing them around. Now these have a little thing there that goes around the strap to stop the rain shield falling off. I have got the other part, but it's damaged, so it won't stay on there, but I've kept it to one side. I can't really see a way of repairing it. Take the rain shield off. So Dint's glass, 6x30, serial number, H6400. <sighs> I'm not sure about this, but it is to do with the range and graticule, and I was led to believe that H6400, it always should have one in. But the other pair haven't got that on, and they have got a range and graticule in the right eye. Now, the range and graticule works in layman's terms. Really layman's terms. I've been reading it, I think I can't work it out. But basically, you look through these, you see a soldier stood next to a truck or, or an armoured vehicle, you have a rough idea that that person's going to be around about you know, anything from five foot six to six foot. You know roughly how tall a man is, and you can work out in the surrounding area, etc., etc., how far away he is. It's something along them lines. Please don't shoot me down for that one. A leather tab that goes on the tunic. So you quite often see German soldiers with this fastened the tunic, rain shield. Now they did come with a transit case, like a Bakelite uh, um, transit case. You don't see them very often together because again, they're more expensive. And I did read somewhere, although I haven't been able to find the information now that um, the Germans didn't like them. They had, a, they had a strap on the back for time to their equipment belt. But in general, they got tossed to one side and they were worn on the tunic with uh, the rain shield on the front. You'll have seen pictures. I should have got a uh, picture, shouldn't I? But uh, again, Unorganised, unrehearsed. I'm, I'm doing well with myself today, I thought. Right, so that's that pair. And they are in very usable condition. Now the rain shields came either Bakelite like, like that one or rubber. So these are BMK. BMK. And BMK was made by SRB and STYS Fabrik Preser Machine Instrument ah. Machine Instrument to Prague. Now when I was looking at the codes for light blue light blue cross light blue triangle that's coming up as white. They're the only ones I could find so we'll go with that. Uh, the cross or Hellblau's Kraus Krauts Kraus Light Blue Cross Minus 40 degrees, and mainly that was done in 1943. Light blue triangle, it's coming up as white, could be just faded. Late 1943, mainly 44, and that's minus 40 to minus 50. 
Now, why is the two on there? That's simply because as these binoculars might have come back into um, the stores or wherever to be serviced, focus, you swine, they would just be re-greased again. So re-greased, another mark on there. This doesn't have uh, the equipment tab, the leather tab. Uh, they're actually quite expensive to buy on their own. It does have a ranging graticule on the right, but it doesn't have H6400. So unsure about that. The leather strap in German is called the Tragerium. Tragerium. The rain shield is called the Knoppenflasher. And the case, Behalter and Behalter. Behalter. And that's a Bakelite or pressed off case. So that, that's the uh, Dance Glass World War II uh, German binoculars. Very, very, very usable uh, to take out, to even the day sometimes I'll take these ones out if we go for a walk. The cost of them, I know that uh, another YouTube channel that I follow, I can have, I've already shouted them out, but I'll shout them out again because they're, they're a top YouTube channel, Blitz1944. They um, showed a pair on their channel last week and they paid £64, I think, for, for a pair. That's a really good price. I got both of, mine at the, both of these at a fair and I think one was 110 and the other one was 100 or maybe 95 So if you want a set, budget for £100. That would be my advice. But in saying that, if you look on my playlists in binoculars and optics, there is another pair of Dean's Glass. Dean's Glass. Dean's Glass. It's Dean's Glass, isn't it? Dean's Glass. Dean's Glass. Dean's Glass. It's Dean's Glass. Dean's Glass binoculars. And they don't have a rain shield. They don't have a uniform tab. They have the strap. And I paid £26 for them off eBay last year. And that was because the... Uh, check the video out if you want. Uh, that was because they were dirty, and the guy had said, you know, I would benefit from a clean. I I'd usually keep right away from anything that would benefit from anything because fiddling around with binoculars, unless you've got the right tools, you can break things, as I have done in the past. But this time, I got a pair of rubber gloves on, and I was very, very, very precise with my little screwdriver, and I managed to get the top prisms out, clean them, and I managed to get a little swab down and clean the lenses out at the bottom. So I didn't do a full re refurb, but I definitely they're hung on, they hang on a mannequin now. But I will definitely take them out because I've I've taken them from being just a display piece to being a us usable item. So there, that's it. Ha! Right, so that's done. They are my two Dienst glass German World War Two. I can't remember where. <laughs> What? It's Dean's class or Dean's class? Right, okay. Don't want to go on too much. I've got a few videos to do with this. This is Stan, and I'll see you.